their overflow lot. The second one was right, I, right there, and I, uh, I met two of you that night, so that was great. I really love interacting with you. Uh, the emails are great, comments on YouTube are great, comments on Instagram are great, but to actually talk to you guys in person is awesome. I really do enjoy it. So, again, feel free to say hi if you ever see me. Uh, we might be changing up the way we're, we're doing this job. Um, I've been told by Chris for, for quite a while that running, running the way I do, maxing everything out every day, I'm going to burn myself out. And I'm actually feeling it now. Uh, not that I don't like the job, not that I don't want to do the job, but I've noticed the last two days, um, I'm smelling the barn. Those of you that uh, know horse stuff at all, uh, I just I, I just want to get home. <clears throat> Conveniently, uh, my next load is going to Boise, which is 10 miles from my house. So we'll just we'll go home. We'll see if we can get a load tomorrow. Uh, even if we do, we're still gonna do a reset. There's, there's, I won't have enough time on my cycle to do anything. Uh, so I'll get dispatched. If it's at the Nampa yard, maybe the Legrand yard, I'll go grab it and sit at home and do the reset. Um, if not, I'll just do a reset and try and get a load, or try and get a load tomorrow. If not, try and get one Monday. Uh, we'll figure it out. But that leads me to the, uh, the topic of this video because I, I didn't have time to get you guys a, uh, a walkthrough of the camper that I just did and it was it was just a basic floor plan uh, it wasn't really anything special anything I haven't seen it was a uh, Blackstone by outdoor no not by outdoor uh, it was an outdoor mountain or it was a Blackstone camper outdoor mountain edition that those words together in that order do that like I said I'm just <laughs> I've noticed the last couple of days that I'm, I'm just I'm just kind of here. I'm doing the job. I'm doing it safely. I'm doing it correctly, but uh, I'm, I'm pushing myself too hard and I'm going to get to where I don't like this job. So this one will be a, a, a two week recap. That, that's today's video. So if you'll remember right after the new year, uh, we picked up in Nampa, Idaho. That one went to Spokane. From Spokane, we went to, no, then we went to Pasco. From Pasco, we went down to Pendleton, grabbed a unit that went to Burlington. From Burlington, we went to Wenatchee. These are all in Washington. And that unit went to Spokane. And that was when we did the whole go to Post Falls because I needed def and none of the truck stops had def. And then went from Post Falls to Pendleton while I was at Pendleton, got dispatched to that one in Iowa, so doubled back to Post Falls, wasted seven hours, and then went all the way to Iowa, and in uh, Billings, Montana, we, we happened to run into Chris, and we traveled with him to Iowa, we grabbed those Van Lay Beacons, the really, really stupid, expensive <laughs> units, and um, we did a reset in South Dakota, because we weren't sure that we had enough hours to make it to the next major truck stop to do a reset um, and then in the area of Butte Montana him and I parted ways he went into Oregon I went into Washington I dropped that one in Kent and then I went to LeGrand and while I was hooking up in LeGrand uh, Chris rolled into the same yard, so he had been dispatched similarly. And then we got iced out, or snowed out, in Legrand, uh, three miles from the yard. And I went to Sumner, Washington with that one, and then made it back to Pendleton today. Uh, going to pick up in Legrand tomorrow, and that one will go to Boise. And that's where I'm gonna go home. So in 12 days, I burned out two full cycles and did a reset. And that, and, and I'm feeling it. I'm mentally just, just worn out. Um, doesn't mean I'm gonna slow down. Doesn't mean I'm gonna run less or take less loads or anything like that. 
it just means I'm not going to push myself as hard. Like today, I, I used 10 hours and 58 minutes of my, my drive time. Uh, you know, that makes for, at a minimum, a 12 hour day. Uh, this one was almost 13 because I actually dropped a unit on top of that. So you have to do your 15 minute pre-trip, you have to take a 30 minute break, you have to do a 15 minute post-trip. That's an hour. 11 plus one is 12. Uh, half hour for a drop, 12 and a half hours. I probably took another couple breaks there, you know, restroom or grab something to drink or whatever. So basically a 13 hour day. And you just, you can't do that forever. Um, especially driving in that for 12 days with a camper on the back. It's, it's stressful, which wears you out. Uh, so I don't know that I'll be covering as many miles every day, but I, I don't think I'm going to keep pushing myself like this just because I don't want to get to the point where I don't like the job anymore. You know, I, I've caught myself a couple times where I'm, I'm, uh, pushing the speed limit a little bit just try to get that couple extra miles and you can't, you can't do that uh, that that kind of stuff is going to get you in trouble in this line of work so moral of the story is we're not going to focus so much on getting as far as humanly possible in a day more just getting somewhere in a day uh still expect daily uploads assuming I can get a unit and still expect the walkthroughs and not a whole lot's going to change um, like I told you before I'm going to try and do more videos like this that are more informational as opposed to just I was here I went here I dropped a unit I went here I'm going to try and put more information into these um, I like giving you guys that. I would assume that you guys like that. And as I've said from the beginning, we can grow together. Uh, I'm gaining knowledge almost daily out doing this job. I will pass as much of that on to you guys as I can. And that, that video that I told you is gonna be scripted that I've been working on, there's gonna be a lot of knowledge in that one. Uh, that's that's kind of the, the purpose of the, the scripting of it, is I, I wanna put good, good, knowledgeable content out in that video. And I think it's gonna be a benefit to, uh, to all of you. So we're gonna call this one. Uh, we've done our PTI, we've done dinner. We are going to go to bed, we are tired. With that, those of you on the roads, as always, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care and have a great day.